this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Adventure! Since last time, I took the liberty of getting some keys, because we're going to be needing them for this area. And now I have a new party member, Lester, so let's see what he can do for us. With the S command. Change the music? That's all you do? You spoony bard! So today, I'm going to be going through... Davies' mansion to kill him. I killed his mother already, so let's finish off the rest of the family. Might as well. I'm not going to bother killing those flames. They take too long. I've got better things to do. Yeah, we can go through this wall here. I think the crystal fills up your willpower instantly, if I'm not mistaken. It doesn't particularly matter. It's starting to fill up pretty fast now, so... And apparently Lester uses bows and arrows. That's first for Bard. Wow, his robes! I'll get him. Oh, the door is locked. I don't like games that use uh, ra random amounts of keys to um, open doors. It's not a very good function of game design, in my opinion. It's like, why? It's like using torches to light your way through caverns. We don't want to clutter up our inventory with those things all the time. It's just kind of pointless, really. It doesn't make the game any more challenging. It's like you have to guess how many attacks and how many keys do I need to get through this dungeon. The rest of the gameplay is fine. I mean, I love this game. Just the keys and the matax part gets a little irritating every now and then. Okay, here's the guys. Now, you want to see what happens when you get turned into a Moogle? Let's find out. I think they have to hit me with the, their beams or something. Come on, turn me into a Moogle! What the hell? There we go. See, I'm a Moogle! Ha ha ha! This might be the first game that actually uses Moogles like that. I mean, the first game would have been Final Fantasy III, if I'm not mistaken. Um, in the main series, that is, because they weren't in Final Fantasy 1 or 2. And, I mean, basically, when you're a Moogle, you can't do anything in this game, so. But yeah, I mean, I think, I would think this game would have come out before Final Fantasy 3, but I don't know for sure. I didn't bother looking it up before I did this episode, so. It doesn't particularly matter. I'm not going to worry about the Moogle status. Now, I believe I have to walk around this, uh, those floor switches in a clockwise fashion. So, let's kill this guy first. So that way he's not in our way to interrupt us. Man, that guy takes a lot of hits. Okay, counterclockwise. Yep, there we go. That does it. And let's head up this way. No, there's no hole in the wall there. Okay, kill these gremlins or imps or whatever they're called. Die. There we go. More crystals. Not that I need them. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going the right way. There we go. Yeah. No, I don't want to put these guys to sleep. I mean, even though they're susceptible to it, then they just sit around wailing their claws at me all day. That's no fun. There we go head down this way. I know one of the walls I can get through on the right. Not this one. Skip killing the flame, guys. There we go. Yep, I can go through that wall, but I don't want to do that quite yet. I want to go down here first. Heal up. Don't want to die against these guys. There we go. Yeah, these guys are just like whiz robes. Man, they stole a lot from Zelda in this game, didn't they? Well, if you're going to rip off someone, you might as well rip off the best. That's what I always say. Stupid flame, get out of my way. A flame can inflict the darkness status on me? I always thought it was that gremlin there. There we go. Did I kill the flame? Apparent oh, I got to get a snowman on there, don't I? Uh, not again. Okay, I'll be right back. 
Okay, I reset it so that way the enemies will reappear here. So let's try again without killing everyone. There we go. Ice. Oh, who doesn't love a good black puzzle? There we go. No, don't kill the snowman. There we go. Just follow me, Lester. There we go. And I gotta kill these bastards who keep on jumping around the room. Sleep! Oh, did that work? Ah, oh, whatever. They're dead. I don't care. And we get the wear axe, but I'm not gonna be using that right now because I wanna use the silver sword to kill enemies that I could not kill with the axe anyway. Ow. Hey, what happened to my shield? You're supposed to be blocking them when I'm not attacking. There we go. Gotcha. I'm not worried about my magic. There, now I gotta go through this wall. Yep, that's the one. Good job, there we are. You could try and helping out a little bit more, Lester. You know, I mean, maybe, you know, use your music or something. Instead of shooting useless arrows all the time. Shadow guys. Whew. Made it through that part. Uh, oh crap, I forget which way I'm supposed to go. That one's locked. They're both locked. Okay, well, let's pick one and see what happens. Yeah, this is the right way. Yep, there we go. Okay. Oops. No, I don't want to change the music. Ah, oh, whatever. I'm going to get some really cool boss music coming up soon. I really love this boss music. It's one of my favorite themes of all time. You can never defeat me! Whoa! Now this guy is hard. In fact, it's quite possible that I might die. But instead, I'm just going to wait down here until my willpower meter fills up and get beneath him and throw my axe at him. It's probably the easiest way of doing all this. You can try getting in between him and his fireballs, but I wouldn't recommend it. Just move around, dodge the fireballs, throw the axe. Oh crap. Ah, my bar didn't fill up all the way. Let's see if the crystal will help. There we go, that works. Oh, come on! Ugh. <laughs> I'll get you yet. There we are. Use another crystal. I guess those things have a use after all. Ah, oh, those fireballs keep on knocking me in the other direction as I'm throwing my axe. There we go. It's the most powerful weapon I got. Might as well use it. What the hell is he anyway? Some kind of squid or something that has legs and can stand up. Oh, Lester can actually deal damage to him. I think. There we go. Whoa, hey. There we go. Yay, we got him. Oh, I love, I love that music. It's one of my favorites. So good. It's just so... It has a great beat to it. He doesn't have the pendant anymore. Uh, Garuda is flying with it to Glaive. Oh no! Well, thanks for telling us. And I have to go after him, but there's some poison gas in the valley that's blocking my path. And he's going to play a harp to clear the gas. Wow. Bards can really do a lot of things with their harps that you wouldn't think they could do, but there you go. It's kind of a sad tune, but I guess it works. And he's going to give me the Magic Book of Mute. Yay, I have another spell that I really don't care for. Does anyone ever use Mute in this game? I mean, I don't think it would be that useful, but I mean, I guess maybe against those whiz robes. I, I don't recall ever using it in previous run-throughs of the game, but... Maybe that's just me. 
Okay, so we've made it through Davios' mansion. We got the were axe, a mute book, so that's everything I want to do today on this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy Adventure. Next time I'll be going through the Poisonous Valley, which is no longer so poisonous, and we'll try to make it to Glaive Castle and get the pendant back. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.